how to play pendulums properly with Baronis the floor. Let's go. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button. I do have a little bit of a cold. It's not COVID. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Your pen god wears a lot of t-shirts outside in minus 40 degree Canada weather. Get me out of Toronto, bro. But with that being said, I won't be too loud for this video. Let's get straight into it. Around the floor, it literally breaks pendulums. This deck is so crazy. So this video, I'm going to showcase you guys five different duels on how to utilize all the combos involved in this deck. And I'm not joking, guys. This deck's literally the best deck right now. Sounds like a bro broken record, but I don't give a fuck. Let's go, baby. I'm so hyped for this video to show just why this deck is so broken. It don't matter if you go first. It don't matter if you go second. You're going to win regardless. If this is your first time on the channel, you smash the subscribe button right now because we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. You also comment down below. Tell me right now what's the best deck, boys. Let's go. I'm so hyped. As you see here, classic Pendulum Magicians. We're going second against Rocks. And my opponent here is going to put up a massive board, okay? You guys need to stay tuned for the whole video. Because if I could prove to you guys right now, I'm clearing the... Like, this is an even better board than a normal Rock board. I think he's ending on six interruptions. And we're going to clear everything like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. And easily win. Like, just look and pay close attention. I am a little bit sick for everyone wondering. You might hear it a little bit. I don't have COVID before anyone says, Oh, thank God got COVID. I don't got COVID. It's... I'm an idiot, and I decide to uh, go clubbing in t-shirt in a t-shirt with uh, minus like 10 degree Canada weather, uh, with it practically snowing and freezing my ass off. So I have the common cold, but that's gonna go away. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not gonna take a day off just for the boys, but it's all good. Anyways, my opponent's gonna be done his turn. Hurry, hurry up, rock guy. Okay, we're here to see pendulums. We're not here to see rocks. Okay. The only thing that we're caring about is rocks is smashing a rock board. Okay, so you guys need to stay tuned to the end of the video. You're going to witness just how easy it is to break boards with pendulums. I'm going to showcase siding patterns. I'm going to showcase everything. So if you're a pendulum player, you actually need to watch this video because it's going to showcase everything you need to know about new pendulums. This is not classic pendulums with Endymion. This is a whole new level, okay? So let's look here what he has. He's playing a really cool board here. He has double Regeki, okay? He has double Regeki. Look at my hand. You guys think I can clear this? Look at my hand. I, I, just, have, I just have six pendulum cards. I have no Dark Ruler. I have no Sphere Mode. I have nothing. I have six pendulum cards. He's going to have double Regeki. That's going to be the biggest problem. He's going to have two Regekis, okay? He's going to have Savage Dragon. He's going to have Appaloosa for two. That's five negates. And then he's going to have a cold buy. So my tuning magician is dead. That is six negates that I have to deal with. Six interruptions. And two of them are Regekis. So many decks lose to two, lose to just Battle Butler by itself. But we're about to deal with Battle Butler, Savage, called by double Appaloosa. No problem. So he uh, right away is going to go into Appaloosa because he's scared of things. I don't know what he has, he has called, but I actually think this is an impermanence because he puts it in this zone. But we're all good. So this is what we're going to do here. Okay, I'm going to showcase you guys some tricks. Okay, so I normal summon Purple Poison, and then I scale Double Iris. Okay, so the reason why Pendulums are so good going second now, before Pendulums had a big issue going second. You know, like it was tough to clear through big boards like this. But with the addition of Double Iris, I, I literally don't even normal summon Joker. I'm going to do this with like a five card hand. I'm going to save two cards in my hand and do nothing with them. I don't normal the Joker because if I normal the Joker, that's getting uh, instantly negated and I don't gain anything from it. I'm trying to get rid of some interruptions. So first things first, I'm actually going to trigger Double Iris's effect here. Double Iris effect is going to be able to get me a Star Pen Graph. If he were to negate the Appaloosa, then I just enter battle and kill the Appaloosa. So he doesn't really have that option here to negate it. So right after that, I say, great, thank you. I get Star Pen Graph. Next... I use Black Fang to actually half the attack of Appaloosa. I had an opportunity if I really could. I really would. Like, this is where Souls is amazing in this deck. Where I could go into Souls, get it in the graveyard, and then Black Fang special it back. Unfortunately, I didn't really have the opportunity to do that here. Or Tuning Magician. So, what I'm going to... I could have Normal Tuning, perhaps. Normal Tuning, Double Iris, Add Star, Pengrab, go into Artemis Magician, Black Fang special back to Tuning. Needle Fiber plays like that. But that's fine. This is at 800. I'm just going to enter Battle Phase. Whenever I feel also Star Pengraph triggers to add Wisdom Eye. This is why you want to use Iris as much as possible because Star Pengraph gets you free plus and gets the wisdom that I need. So next I'm going to enter battle and kill this. He wants Appaloosa to survive, so he destroys it with Battle Butler. At that point, Poison triggers because of Regeki and Appaloosa negates. Okay, so Appaloosa is out of the way. 
one battle butler is out of the way so now i just gotta deal with one more regeki one more savage and one more called by no problem this is nothing at all Oath dragon effect add back wisdom eye pendulum summon my sorcerer cannot resolve because i banish all my targets that's fine i pendulum just enough for him to trigger battle butler because i want him to get rid of it i want him to battle butler so he activates battle butler i chain block to make sure savage gets destroyed by poison so i make poison i make a double iris chain link two and, and purple poison chain link one he's forced to negate that and then poison kills his card now i want you to see something he has no follow-up no follow-up i cleared the entire board this appaloosa is dead there's no card in Yu-Gi-Oh to save his ass here he's done for he's absolutely done for so he's gonna go ahead and add one of the prank kids i'm like go ahead fam no problem that uh should be banned and then at that point he realizes i lose he loses i have joker i have tuning magician i did that with five cards if that does if you had an ash blossom i did the exact same thing because that desires i, I joker and tuning magician they did not nothing now what makes this deck so broken against all the meta decks is you look at the meta decks you got drytron you got sword soul these decks get absolutely obliterated by lava golem and dark ruler i'm trying to tell you guys man this deck's absolutely broken so if you guys got to this point in the video so far you're noticing how easy it is to break boards we've gone second both times look at my hand Look at my hand. I lava golem the interruptions. Pen call dark roller GG. You play six pendulum calls. So you could side so many extra board wipes like sphere mode, lava golem, dark roller, and just get rid of it with pen call or duelist alliance. You also play three magician souls. So souls could get rid of the extra dark ruler. So despite siding so many cards to break boards, it doesn't matter. Because you just discard the extra ones and get value off of it. That's the beauty of pendulum magicians. And you do not need the normal summon. As far as siding patterns, I'm about to give you guys like I'm a PhD in this Magician Pendulum deck. Every Pendulum deck, I'm, I got a PhD in clapping people, okay? So, if you guys want to learn this, pay close attention, guys. I know what I'm talking about. Look, exact same board. He puts a Battle Butler, Savage, all that. No problem. Lava Golem, see you later. Pen call, get a Dark Ruler. Now, look at my hand. Like, look at my hand. Like, I don't even know what to say. My deck is just so crazy. My deck is just so crazy. There's nothing this man can do to save him. He loses. Period. I'm just going to go for game here. It's just too easy, guys. It's just too easy. This deck is just absolutely broken. That's it. This deck is just so broken. I'm going to attack, attack, GG. I'm going to show you guys another replay now. So this is going to be the second replay I did against him. I gave him a rematch. He thought he could beat my pendulum deck. Well, now I'm going first. <laughs> now I'm going first. Now I want you guys to see something, okay? You look at your desires, Paul. Freely desires. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Guys, scared negates makes no negates. Don't be scared of your desires. Desires freely and conf confidence. Here I go dual lines to get Star Pengraph. The best combo is Star Pengraph with Wisdom Eye. I don't search for Pen Call. Why do you want to lose to an Ash Blossom? I just get free plus here. Special tuning, normal summon Celestial. Link summon both. Needle Fiber, special another one. Celine, special again. I don't want to lose to Appaloosa. Uh, Nibiru, so I make Appaloosa. What's my next play? I go straight into Brone the Floor. At this point, I recognize I'm like, okay. I could have dagged him if I wanted to, but I'm like, this is enough. I go tornado to pop double iris. I don't dag the. Why don't I dag the? So I could have dagged the here to set scythe, okay? It's not banished. I want to prove a point. You don't need scythe. You don't need scythe whatsoever. I'm pretending that my scythe got banished. I'm going to just beat him with these cards alone. But this board also actually ended on a scythe with Wonder Magician going into Brone to Floor. But I was making a point to my stream that you don't need it. I have three cards in hand. I'm set up completely. And there's nothing this man can do to save him. I go Pengraph pop. Pengraph add. I have four cards in hand. What's my man doing here? There's nothing. He drew the Bureau for turn. My Appaloosa saved it. So now we're going to go into game two of the second match. Look at my hand. It's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, against Sword Soul, against Drytron, it's the same result. Picture your average Sword Soul board or your average Drytron board. You're just doing the exact same thing. And then Pen Call protects your skills from being hit with the Icarus attack that they have. And you destroy them. I can't stress enough, guys. This deck's amazing. Now, the, you still got three more matches to go. So this is a gold mine for any Pendulum player. It really is. So you play Pendulums, all I gotta say is you're welcome. Because I'm giving you guys all the secrets here. You guys don't need to spend days on days and months of like theory crafting. You got me for that. I got you guys. I got you guys. Like this is prime time pendulum magician incredibleness and it just brings a smile to my face because i know absolutely how broken it is so he's gonna put up look look familiar guys look familiar how many decks do you know can clear a savage dragon an appaloosa what are you gonna do droplets all three of them you can still get rid of this for cost you still get cra like crapped on and you lose your whole hand 
uh standby main see you later pen call get rid of lava golem desires this deck is so broken that i don't we haven't dropped a single game yet i'm gonna show you guys three more matches i mean <laughs> this is just incredible guys it really is this is not no bravada saying like oh pen best deck pen best deck it's just nothing but facts it really is nothing but facts it's just the best deck my hand here is not even that good like it's dead ass not good at all i go straight to barone before nibiru in case he has the nibiru this is how you play around the nibiru if you don't make the Appaloosa before if you draw an extender you make harmo special oh make Barone the floor off the bat off the bat and now i want you to see this combo so i know for a damn fact okay with barone the floor my man here can't do anything he cannot interrupt my plays. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to link these into Needle Fiber. Now I'm going to go into uh, Artemis with the with that. With the Tuning Magician. I'm going to special the Tuning Magician back here. And then I'm going to, with Old Dragon, add Wisdom. And then the two of these, I'm going to go into Dagda. Then I'm going to use Barone de Floor to pop my double iris so I can search Pengraph. And then Dagda will trigger setting the Scythe. And just like that, Barone de Floor. Not only does it protect my plays, but it damn for sure guarantees that my iris is getting popped while negating anything my opponent has to stop me from playing and sets up my needle fiber combo with pen graph gg i go into purple poison to allow my pen graph to have double pop so now i have double pop barone negate scythe gg gg start pen graph adding every turn this deck is so insane so my opponent's playing some weird ass red eyes guru elich i mean he just loses here so right off the bat he's gonna golden lord okay i negate Okay, right after that, he, he summons Guru, recognize he loses. It, like, there's nothing my man can do here. It's, uh, my deck's just insane. All right, so next, we're going to go, so he goes first here. Okay, this is a classic. Like, look at this. So, classic Elich player. Red Eyes Fusion, set five. Wow, what can we do to this? He has Golden Land Forever. He has three negates here. Okay, he has Dragoon. He has Golden Land Forever to negate something else. And he has a Conk. All right. Pen call. I specifically discard the Tuning Magician to set myself up for next turn. All right, I want you guys to see how I do this because a lot of you guys would do this very differently, and that's the reason why I'm making this video. This is a one-stop shop. If you guys want to learn anything about Pendulum, it's right here. And also, the main one-stop shop is my Patreon as well as my Metafy. If you guys want to check down below to get one-on-one -on -one coaching to how to play this deck, go check it out right now. And Patreon, you get lots of a few videos a week, so you can learn more about this as well in depth. So, anyways. We're going to discard. He's going to negate that. Go Desires. All right, right off the bat, he's going to go Golden Land Forever to get rid of this. Okay. Look at my hand. I have three cards. Can I do... Do you guys see a play with my hand? Do you guys see a play with my hand right now? For, for those, maybe some of you see it, some of you don't. Do you guys see a play? I see a fucking incredible play. Right off the bat, it clicks to me. I want you guys to see something now. Now, I wasn't paying attention to his turn whatsoever. Because I knew I was going to destroy his board. So it didn't matter what he, what he added. I just didn't care. I should have known this was a conk. But just keep in mind that I had no idea while dueling. Okay. Anyways. I go Oath. Scale Duelist Alliance. I get Double Iris. This is a trick that some of you need to know. Okay. Double Iris Magician says in its text. This card is always treated as a Pendulum Dragon. It's basically treated as, as, a, as a Pendulum Dragon. Similar to Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So Duelist Alliance can search Double Iris. This is the oldest trick in the book with Double Iris. Now, ensuring that I have scales now, Tuning Magician can special summon itself from the graveyard, specifically the one I discarded from Pen Call. Perfect. The Pen Call got negated. My card, right? Don't forget this. Okay, next. Magician Souls. Special. Send Oath Dragon. It's very important you send Oath. All right, next. Double Iris effect. Destroy itself to add a Pen Graph to my hand. Specifically, Star Pen Graph. I'm not searching times Time Pen Graph. I'm searching Star Pen Graph, and there's a specific reason why. All right, next play. I go into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, special tuning magician. Next, I go into Selene. Selene, special Oath Dragon. Okay, now I want you guys to see something. When Oath Dragon leaves the field, this is the same reason why Souls brought it out. What happens when Oath Dragon leaves the field? You add with Star Pengraph. I set this up since the beginning of time. Star Pengraph effect, add me Wisdom My Magician. I set this up since the beginning of time, bro. I set this up since the beginning of time. Now, I popped Conquistador here, not knowing what it was. So, ideally, I was not going to activate access code to pop the conk. I just had no idea that it was a conk. I wasn't paying attention because I knew I was going to destroy him. That's a bot. Don't be that cocky. Okay? Here I go into Double Iris. Now, uh, my Black Fang is banished. Otherwise, I probably would have summoned Black Fang to do some cool plays 
by popping it, etc. But it's okay. Next, I'm going to use Oath Dragon to add back Wisdom Eye. And then I'm going to Pendulum specifically the Double Iris and the Wisdom Eye. They're both level 4. Then I'm going to trigger Double Iris again for a second time. To be able to search another time pen grab, another pendulum grab. And then at this play, I should have attacked directly with both of them. But instead, I just go straight into Dweller. That way, I was thinking I was going to go Zeus. But I don't want any of these to have a play. So I should have attacked first to do extra damage, but it doesn't matter. I popped the Land just so he can't get any effect from Dweller. Attack, attack. His field's gone. His whole field's gone. And I pen grab Dweller. Access code. Nothing. There's nothing you can do. I go Dweller, you change Scarlet. I'm like, go ahead. GG, bro. GG. And anything that Pengraph got, Star Pengraph would just get me another Magician. So next turn, it's over. GG. Now I'm going to show you guys another one. I'm really showing you guys everything, bro. I'm going to go fast forward for the last two matches. And don't worry. Stay tuned until the end. There will be a deck profile at the end as well. This deck is just so broken, man. This is Virtual World. My hand is not good, bro. It's not good. We hard drew the Scythe. You don't want to hard draw the Scythe. It makes for awkward situations, but I don't care. We're still going to put up an, a, a massive board. It just doesn't matter. So I do a weird play here. I just search for these. I pen call that. I specifically pen call a tuning magician because if it gets ashed, I want this in the graveyard. It's very important it's in the graveyard. I special out the tuning now, and I ensure I can get into needle fiber. I go into this, and I go into Selene. Now, at this point, I'm trying to bait him into Nibiruing now, but he does not. So my next play, I use Selene to special Oath Dragon. Then I go into Appaloosa. Uh... You're going to notice here that I'm kind of out of zones. This is a little mistake, okay? I should have realized this. But souls could have easily been double iris. If it was double iris, I could have got an extra negate out here, being it being level 4. But I didn't realize it, and that's my fault. So it just kind of sat there, but it could have been a free time star and kind of done the same thing. But it's totally fine. So at this point, okay, I want you guys to see something. Barone to 4... Well, I'm under pen call, so I couldn't pop it. But if I special double iris, I could have used Barone to pop the iris to search pen graph. And then I have a free pop too. So there should be a pen graph on this field as well. There should be a pen graph, but I don't do it. So I use Tornado to pop the scythe. I get rid of all that. All right, he goes upstart. Clearly, he wants to end up uh, resolving talents. And my mania is going to go off a little bit. I should have an extra pen graph. I'm a little disappointed about that misplay. But that zone placement is very important. If I can make that mistake, so could you guys. So here he goes, talents, he steals, he's going to try and clear as much as he can from my board, but he won't be able to do anything because Scythe locked him out. So now he's going to clear as much as Moss as he can, and he's going to burn the floor pop itself. That's definitely his goal here because he doesn't want that in the field, but it just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So I draw, it doesn't matter what I draw into, it's over. If he popped Oath, it was over. I have Tuning Magician in the Grape to Special, Needle Fiber, etc. It's over. There's nothing my man can do here. So I go straight into Needle Fiber right off the bat. Straight into Needle Fiber. Selene access code i'm trying so he gets rid of selene asap i'm like all right cool pen five the joker at pen five there's nothing my bro could do here at all nothing pen five pen five six moss on the field more than pen five ignister clear everything gg gg <laughs> too easy bro too easy this deck is just insane and that's it this is attack for game we're gonna go game two here i haven't even dropped a single game yet these are all in a row, bro. These are all in a row live. So I have Dark Ruler. My man here, Bricks. He does have Nibiru Gamma, though. So we're going to have to play our Nibiru Gamma Twin Twister. That's an insane combo against Pendulums. As you guys know, I don't need to explain how that's so ridiculous against us. So he has Twin Twister. And what I do is a Chronograph Effect to bring up Time Gazer. Okay? Not only does he Twin Twister under Pen Call, but he Twin Twisters while Time Gazer. So he, this is, take advantage of your opponents making these mistakes. So, now I'm like, that nothing happens there. Pendulum summon now. Now, at this point, I make a massive error. I summon one Time Gazer. I summon one uh, Celestial. I should have keep Chronograph in my extra deck. The reasoning behind it is that this and Oath makes Barone de Floor. And I could have set up Barone de Floor. <sighs> but to be fair, I couldn't have do much after. So, it's okay to go a little over. Then I'm going to get hit with a massive Nibiru. This Nibiru is like Infinity Attack. So we should be all right. He bricked before, and he bricked again. There's nothing he could do there. Oaf. I just had the pendulum summon. Attack. This is GG. Attack for game. We have like yet to drop a game. We have one more match now. Last game. Last game. If you guys got this far, pat yourselves on the back because you guys are witnessing greatness at its finest. Here we lose a dice roll against what I think is one of the best decks in this format. I don't think people are understanding how good this version of Tribrigate is. It's so good. Uh, extending... Through, through different plays, very powerful, 
and everyone knows that the end board of the barrier statue with all the extra shenanigans they put up is very difficult to out man it's actually very difficult like look at this how, how, how do you out this look at this end board my man here puts up how do you out this apex avion double dragon lord with this and this protecting them all not ironically if uh, if either avion or oath was not there i was clearing everything because of how good pendulum magicians are to get rid of cards in the field i could search pen graph i could clear everything easily but because he has it i lose so at this point i do a big brain play i just set uh, some cards to make it seem like i'm playing the doll or something like that so he sides different things this is very important you do this if you have enough spells and traps just set three Bluff that you're playing Eldritch or some shit deck. Well, Eldritch is the second best deck after Pendulum. Let's go. Anyways, here I go Joker to search Harmo. So, why don't... I could have searched Wisdom Eye. Yes, I could have done that 100%. And that might have been the best play. But I really enjoy having a Harmonizing through everything. So, my next play here, I'm going to go into Needle Fiber. I'm going to special this up. We cannot Selene this turn. We cannot Selene. I go straight into Pendulum Summoning. Because I don't have Selene, I don't have an extra spell card. So just keep that in mind. I oath right away to add Harmo. I go into Degda. I use this to pop. I set Scythe and Pengraph. And I set up the typical board here. So we have Baron Negate. We have Scythe and we have Pengraph. And we have Needle Fiber Scythe combo. So he goes one for one. I'm like, that's fine. Once this gets summoned, I go straight to Needle Fiber because I want to play around Imperm. So I don't do it right away. I wait for him to get some cards on the field. I go Needle Fiber Effect. TG1 and Magician Effect. Pop Scythe Effect. He changed Chalice. I negate with Baron. You always want to set up a run to floor to ensure your plays resolve. We're going to game three. That game one was my first L in any game. How can we do this now? So look at this. He sets up. He has Harpy Feather Storm. He has Imperm. He's set up nicely here, but he sided too many cards. It won't be enough. I Lightning Storm, get rid of the Imperm. But nonetheless, I cannot activate Monster Effects this turn. So now I have to big brain him, okay? I cannot activate Monster Effects. This card's so broken. It's so insane. So what am I going to do? Take this in. Look at this play here. Look at this play. I cannot do any monster effects. So my play here, I normal double Iris. I go straight into Artemis Magician. Look at this big brain. It's sometimes, in, it's insane how smart I am. To trigger the effect of Star Pengraph. Monster effects cannot be activated. Not even on the field, graveyard, extra deck, anywhere. So I search Wisdom Eye Magician. My next play, I use Oath to add back the double Iris. And then I Pendulum both Wisdom Eye and double Iris Magician. I Pendulum them both. My next play now, I link them into Time Star and I enter Battle Phase. I attack him for some damage. I can't use Time Star Effect. I go straight into Zeus. I did all of that just to set up a Zeus. Yes, I know. It's so extra, but I needed to. Because if he sets up Fractal Effects, I, I kind of lose. So what, what do you know? He has Fractal. So he goes Fractal. He gets Nerval Kit. He gets all this ready, and I go straight into Zeus. I'm just forced to do it. I'm forced to do it. We don't have much of a follow-up. We need to draw something nice here. But he doesn't have much either. I summon Poison, and I attack, putting him at very low life points here. Uh, very, very low life points. I had an opportunity to Selene, uh, Souls, Special Selene, but it didn't get me anywhere. He draws Barrier Statue, and that's the end of him. GG, my friend. We attack. Boom. Shakalaka. Pendulum. Best deck. 5-0. Just to put this in retrospect for you guys. Me and Team Samurai X1 dueled. He was playing Sword Soul. We were playing. Uh, we played nine games in total. I won eight to one. No lies. I won locals undefeated. Uh, I won 18 packs. It was pretty big locals. I'm not saying lo winning locals matters, but I'm saying Pendulum does that. Is what I'm saying. So now I'm gonna show you guys a quick sneak peek of the deck list. This is a super long video, so we're gonna cap it here. This is the deck list that you guys see. It is absolutely remarkable. I changed it slightly uh, compared to the previous list to make sure there's more extenders. Extenders help you play around hand traps like Nibiru, but if you don't draw an extender, you have to make sure you're Pendulum Summon with Harmonizing Magician. You bring out an Oath Dragon and then you're under four summons. So Harmo and Oath can go into a uh, it can go into a, a Baron de Floor uh, to protect your plays. And then the Oath in scale can add back to Harmo and you can normal the Harmo and continue going with Needle Fiber plays. So that's the video. I think this deck's absolutely insane. If you guys got this far, you guys need to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below what the best deck is, boys. Pen best deck. You already know what it is. Make sure to check out TriffGaming.com and check out Patreon and Metafi down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next video. Pen best deck. Peace.